In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new microphone from Asus being the ROG Carnix. Now this microphone simply plugs in via USB. You also got a headphone port back there, which you can control all that right on the front of the microphone. It's a condenser mic that also has a pop filter in it with this nice aluminum build all the way top to bottom on the microphone. Now the top of it actually has that touch mute, kind of like we've seen with the HyperX or Elgato microphones. And the stand that comes on this is actually aluminum as well. It feels incredibly solid. But we are not just going to take a listen to the new Asus Carnix microphone, we're going to compare it up to the SteelSeries Alias and then also the Elgato Wave 3. So how we're going to do this test is plug in every microphone and test them at their core. And by the way, right now you're here in the Asus ROG Carnix. It's about maybe a hand's length from my mouth, just straight up plugged and play, no software tweaking or anything. All these microphones have really cool software you can play around with, but again, I think at the core, the way I like doing microphone tests is at the core, how is the microphone? Anything that you can tweak and dabble around with it is just icing on top of the cake. But we gotta know out of the box, are we getting a good quality microphone to the, to the core, right? So that's what you are hearing right now is again, the Carnex just straight plugged and played. We're about a hand length from me. Let's go ahead and uh, test it like this. We'll get it a little bit further away. Now you're about, uh, I don't know, half an arm length from me here. You're hearing that I have a ceiling fan on, my door is open. So we're trying to see if it's going to kill out some of that reverberation. I also have some very sharp S's, as many of you know. So kind of curious if it's going to uh, cut those out with the uh, uh, filter in there as well. I'm going to pull it a little bit further away now. Now we're like a uh, pretty much right at a complete arm's length away, seeing what that is sounding like here. What else I want to do is we're going to take the microphone, put it off to the side. Again, we are testing it with the stand that it came with. A lot of people uh, will probably have this on an arm, maybe sitting up over here or something. I don't know. We're testing it with the stand. This is what you get out of the box in these microphones. Uh, the Wave, we've got a couple mods. We'll talk about that. Anyway, so now the microphone's over there to my left, right? Right over here. I'm talking forward. I'm looking at my keyboard, and we're going to see uh, what it sounds like as far as the keyboard reverberation coming up from it. So what I wanted to test there is not so much how much is the microphone picking up of the keyboard, which sure it's important, but more or less the reverberation from me typing down, is it coming up through the microphone? Again, this does have that shock mount in it, which is super cool, but just seeing again, banging on the desk, how much is it gonna come up through it? So that's more important than how much of the keyboard is it picking up? If we put the keyboard behind it, let me get right back here. We'll put the keyboard behind it and see what this will sound like. So obviously it should be picking up the noise in front of us and uh, blocking some of that noise out behind us. We'll, we'll try the little uh, clap test back behind it, to the right, to the left, and now right in front of it. So hopefully that's given us a good example. Again, what I wanted to test was that verberation from the desk since it has this really cool shock mount on it. But of course, if you have an arm, you're not gonna have to worry about any of that because it's gonna be off your desk anyways. Now let's go and take a look at the software for this microphone, which is in Asus Armory Crate. And you're seeing the microphone right here. I'm out of the shock because I wanna show you the monitor. But just to let you know, I'm about a hand length and a half away from the microphone right now. But take a look at the settings. You got noise gate right now. All this stuff is off. Um, let's go ahead and click it on. We got noise gate halfway. We'll do that. That clap right in front of it right there. We'll go on and crank it up a little bit more and do that clap. And again, we'll bring it a little bit closer so you can hear my voice right up on the microphone with noise gate on. Now this is with the noise gate off. All right, so I'm gonna get back to my regular position here. Now we got perfect voice, which hopefully my voice is perfect before clicking this on. Anyways, Turned in perfect voice on, same distance. Now I'll get right up on the microphone and see what that sounds like. Let's go on and crank it up to 100, maxed out, and now we are hearing perfect ver, mm, I can't talk, perfect voice maxed out. Bring it back down to 50%, and this is gonna be voice off, perfect voice off. And right here it tells you boost vocal voice to provide a clear communication. Noise gate, filter noise for clear in-depth communication. So that should have filtered some of that clapping out a little bit, hopefully. And then you got high pass filter. We'll go ahead and turn that on. I'll come right up onto the microphone. You can hear that right there. Now I'm back to that regular position and we'll turn those off. Now you got equalizer. You only have three settings down here. You got dark, which now you're hearing dark right here. My voice probably got a little bit deeper. Over here is natural. Well, we've had it on this whole test. And then we'll bring it down here to bright. And now this is the bright setting. 
So let me go back to natural and show you the rest of this software. You have settings, which is your playback over here as far as plugging your headphones right into the back of the microphone, which as I showed you before, you can actually adjust it right here. You just clip this, press it in, and you can cycle through each different thing as far as your microphone volume or your headset volume right here. And then go up to 192 hertz, 24 bit. Uh, side tone, you also have that. You can turn that on or off as well. And then also your recording up to 192 hertz, 24 bit. Then you have that lighting I was talking about over here. You got all these different effects. And then this right down here, when the microphone is muted, a red static light will affect the display as a reminder. So let, let me show you this real quick here. Again, I'm off to the side of the microphone right now. But anyways, this microphone has a little touch sensitivity right up top, pretty much just like the uh, HyperX or the Elgato one. You can touch it up. But what I want you to look at is whenever I mute it, and then also watch whenever I turn it back on, right? So let me make sure it's in frame. You can see. And now that I tapped it to go back on, you see it's green, but then it's gonna go back to my RGB setting, which is a solid white, because I don't want it green in here looking like Christmas since I like red so much. But again, it's cool that it will let you know green, hey, the microphone's back on, or a red that it is muted, which again, that's what this option is down here. You can actually turn that off so it's not always red, but I like that reminder, let me know, hey, my microphone is muted. Anyways, beyond that, you can also turn the RGB off if you're not into that. And then over here, you have firmware update. And now what you're hearing is a SteelSeries Alias Pro microphone just straight up plugged in. Now, this is not the Pro version. This is just a basic alias. And we also have Snugs here that wants to be in a video. Snugs. Oh, she's probably going to bonk into the camera. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh. So now we can get some French Bulldog snorting as well. Here. You want to be on? <laughs> this is what I got to listen to at night. Here. You're gonna say something in the mic right here. No? What is she? No, now she's not gonna snort. Right here, talking to the go. But anyways, this is a Steel Series Alias Pro, just straight up plug and play. One thing I really like about this microphone, well, number one, you can adjust your volume on the back and your headphones up here, but you have this mute button. So you saw whenever I muted it, it made that X right there. But the cool thing is whenever I'm talking, you actually have that graph right there, let you know if you're peeking. So if you come up, close well it's not turned up loud enough to peak but if i crank it up a little bit more it'll start actually getting up in there into yellow and red really nice notification so you know if it's too loud um we'll do that keyboard test behind it first oh shoot my keyboard's still plugged in as i'm pressing all these things now <laughs> let's go on and do the same test we did before where we take the alias to the left and then we'll just do the keyboard see what kind of radiation because you also have a shock mount on this one as well So I did notice that the alias was picking up a lot more um, of the key presses right there. And then whenever I started banging on it as well, maybe that's just because we got the graph right there. But as far as software, you all know you got Sonar software, which you can go in there and really tweak up SteelSeries audio products. But of course, what we're shooting for here is that comparison of that core audio from the microphones. We heard the Carnix. This is the alias. Now we're going to plug in a Wave 3. And now for our last test is going to be the Elgato Wave 3. And this has been my main microphone for years now. I love this microphone. I use one over on my Mac setup whenever I got to do meetings. My wife uses it whenever she has to get on stuff as well. So again, the, the Wave 3 gets it done. I, I love the simplistic design and the ease of use. You got the touch mute up top. You control your volume, uh, your mix. And then as far as the microphone right on it, it's simplistic. Now the Wave 3 does not come with this shock mount or this little pop filter that I have, this little screen filter I have up top there, which is something I really like, again, because it's the P's and T's. These two mics, uh, they have them included on it. So that's a little downfall. That's like 60 bucks extra on the Wave. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention as I was going here, just, you know, activating whichever mic I was using. One thing I noticed with the Steel Series and then the Elgato is they pull up so many different things. So I got Sonar Chat, Sonar Ox, Sonar Media, Sonar Gaming, Steel Series Microphone, right? Uh, with that and then with the wave i got wavelength aux one aux two game sfx uh, music system right so it's kind of like holy smokes there's so many different options whenever you plug these microphones in when you come over here to the rog it's kind of simple you you got your headphones and then you got your microphone 
I, I don't know. I love simplicity, right? So I got to give the, the high five to Asus on that one. As far as these two bikes, they want so many different things. Steel Series went crazy with Sonar and Elgato. They just got so much different software that it's always asking you what you want to use it for. What's it being allocated to, you know? Anyways, whatever. This is the Wave 3. You were hearing it right here. Um, I got it on the basic stand. You know, I used to use a big old arm, but I didn't like it there. So when I'm not using it, I just kind of leave it over there. You know, I actually wonder how it sounds all the way over there right now. And I can just tap it mute right there, you know? Anyways, so let's bring it over here. We'll do that keyboard test. I got the shock mount on it. Of course, this does not come with it again. But just for the sake of testing. Now I want to go in and take the, what do we do? The keyboard behind, microphone in front, just to see. So that's the Elgato Wave 3. Again, been my main microphone for a long time. I haven't listened to any of these playbacks, so I'm kind of curious how it's going to stack up to the other ones. Will I be switching here? You know what I mean? Um, but again, I know a lot of you will probably have it on an arm, kind of like how I'm holding it right now. So if you heard any vi uh, vibration or radiation from a desk or the keyboard coming through it, again, easily eliminated with the arm, depending where you got it connected, if it's over there, but you still got that shock mount helping out with it. So anyways, those were our three comparisons. So now that we had a good look over and listen to the Asus RAW Carnex, again, a couple comparisons. I went into the system before I transferred any of these, which I don't tweak any of my audio uh, whenever I go into editing. Again, I want you to hear that RAW core experience, but I did listen to all my mezes, a balanced cable, and then going into my iFi amp stack. So I'm getting a really good sound going there. And these three microphones, Microphones came out completely different. Um, talking about tweaking, again, I don't tweak the uh, quality of the sound, but some of them, like the Steel Series, I had to increase a little bit. The Carnex, I had to reduce a little bit right there. That is because this mic picks up incredibly loud. Like just right now, you can see I got it set down to, well, it's at 28, which might be a little bit too loud still. We'll bring it down to 20 and it might be a little bit better. By the way, as I adjust that knob, you see it adjusted in the system settings. And I'm talking about this microphone picking up incredibly loud. I was thinking, okay, well maybe Armory Crate is operating different than my system. But when I take this and adjust it, it adjusts an armor crate right along with the system. So I don't know what's going on here. This microphone just picks up incredibly loud. And when uh, I did the initial test, I had every single microphone set at 60. And in quiet moments or even lower talking, you would hear a slight static in the background. So again, if you get this microphone, I highly recommend you just tone it down big time. Flipping a switch, going over to the Steel Series one, it recorded incredibly low. And again, uh, system settings and everything, everything was set at 60. So it was really weird, you know? The Steel Series definitely picked up a whole lot more room reverberation and, and noise out, out there as well. So uh, that was kind of a bummer. Uh, the Wave 3, I think in my opinion, it still sounded absolutely amazing. The volume was balanced to my settings, what I would expect it to be at, not too high, not too low, uh, no noise or anything. The reverberation was really nice. So I think if I had to rank these right here, I would definitely go still Wave 3 as number one. I would put the Carnex as number two and then the Steel Series at number three. So there we go, the new Asus ROG Carnex microphone. Let me know what you think about it, especially compared up to the other three microphones there. And I hope this video was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.